Yeah, what's up? Hi, I'm Tyler Barnes. My uh, YouTube channel is Mindcraft, all upper uh, case letters. And I'm Justin, Justin Pill, and it's capital J and over case. And uh, yeah, what's up, guys? Playing for a hand like magic wand, hoping that uh, Corbin at any angles and made what it is. Because <laughs> people don't wear masks. Yeah. And I say, still sticking around. <laughs> Second wave came yesterday, officially. It did? Yeah. Where did it start? You know, all over, everywhere. It's, it was going up here in BC. Yeah. You know, all over Canada, and then went down like this, up again. Not to where it wasn't the first. Crazy. But there's a lot of new cases. I don't know the exact number. I don't have it in the top of my head. I got off the top of my head, it hit my head, but it was, there was 140 cases, I think, one day. Something like that. A whole bunch of stuff, bro. And there's, in India, they have over a million. No, oh, yeah, India's a mess. There's so many people there. And there's, they're so crowded, right? There's no what? If India is too crowded, then people yeah. are also together. Way too crowded. Even here, I get, when I get on the sky train, and like, I had this East Indian girl walk in front of me, and cut me off, and I was like, what are you doing, man? Just let people get off the sky train. She gave me a dirty look. I didn't even notice. My friend had been telling me, I'm like, lady, whatever. I was just letting people get off. Like, they don't, you know, I had that happen, like, other European people that too. Young European that walked in front of me, cut me in front of me on the train. So people don't know how to give each other space. I've always tried to give you at least two or three feet of space, or an inch, even. Like, I was on the bus, and I leaned on the dude, get the hell off. <laughs> like, not... No, but like people don't social distance, and that's why it's spreading. Yeah, there's been some bad stuff. Like uh, the drum circle at Third Beach is like pretty big. Uh, I saw that yeah. on Facebook. Uh, yeah, it's really dumb. A lot of people just hanging out. Like, well, I mean, like it's kind of like the protests were just as bad, right? I went to They were scary. I was worried about COVID ninety nine. Yeah. Uh, you? Did you make it to that uh, anti-mask rally downtown? No, I was gonna go film those douchebags. <laughs> yeah, a buddy of mine made it down there and filmed it. Uh, there weren't a lot of people there, but they were socially distanced. Of course, if you're not wearing yeah, a mask, you gotta socially distance. If I let's put it this way, if I had it right now and I walk into a crowd of people and I breathe heavy and I talk loud, I already do, you know, right? Or I uh, play this, just breathe it all. It goes like this, and it's windy, right? People's ears, eyes, nose, and mouth, and it will. So yep. it's like sin. Like, it's gonna spread like wildfire. Yeah, that's already happening to wildfires already. Really? You got some wildfires in Canada, or? Yeah, wildfires are happening. I don't usually do this time of year. Yeah, yeah. sometimes they happen sooner. You know what's really good this time of year? What? Plants. Plants yeah, are good. Right. Yeah, I might. See all my plants growing. Yeah, you got some buds? Yeah, they're all just they're flowering, budding. They look crazy, bro. Nice. Yeah, you, you got a new lamp, eh? A new grow lamp? Yeah, I bought that off Amazon, eh? It was like 40 bucks. What type of light bulb is that? Forget the name. It's a full spectrum bulb, bro. Ah. I have it saved. I'll show you. Show you. You should get one. I don't really that grow bulb, much. I think it's like 30 bucks. What? I don't really grow much. Yeah, but it, it's good for the succulents. It was like 30 bucks. The picture was like $8. So it was like 40 bucks. Shipping was free because of Amazon Prime. It was all right. I bought those zombie sauces or, or one of the sauces that get my friend bought me a couple because it's free shipping, right? So, I like, mean, it was 30 bucks for the sauce. Hot sauce? Yeah. Was it the ghost pepper stuff or? Well, I forget the name. Was it the zombie one, I think? Reaper sauce? Reaper. Gross. I don't even like it. Dude. It's okay, but I eat. I ate some of yesterday. I don't know. It's just like sick. Like my stomach got yeah, it, my throat got it. Yeah, that stuff's pretty bad. It's bad for yeah, your guts. Or maybe Sorry? it's good. Maybe it's good for your guts. I guess it kind of cleans you out. 
somewhat, but it can also affect your heart, heart hurting. I remember when I ate those Carolina Reapers, I ate them in my candy, and then I was like puking 11 times, and I'm standing, I'm standing there like this, trying to like keep the pressure off my heart. I know it sounds silly, but it may somehow made the pain not hurt my heart and my arm. Yeah. And I'm like standing in there for 15 minutes, and then I puked a few more times, it was about 11 times in total. I ate them, and it made my whole face burn. It came in my nose. Huh. Chunks of the winter peppers. I burned my whole face from like it's like the cops had came up and bear sprayed me. The worst. Like, imagine getting bear sprayed by winter pepper. But, uh, yeah, pepper spray. Yeah. Like it burned all the way around my face. Just, wow. And I was like that for three hours. I remember I the. Still felt tingling. Yeah, I felt I still felt the tingling and burning in my face, but it was mostly in my stomach. Three hours, and then I fell asleep at like eleven thirty. No doubt. Even had a hot hot between at first. Yeah, you don't want to do that. It pushes the oil in. It's not good. <laughs> it calmed me down though the hot hot. Yeah? Did it make you all spicy? <laughs> See that coffee beans with cocaine in them. <laughs> no, but I'm telling you, it's like that though. It's similar. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Dude. Like when you drink coffee, like it's, it speeds up your butt, your uh, heart rate. It's yeah. Panic. It's all these drugs, dude. I know it's not the same. If you smoke crack and it's coke and speed. Obviously, that's probably not as good for you. It's way worse. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, I think it's the same, though. It's not. It's a drug, man. It's just legal. Yeah. I can go to the corner store and buy coffee or go to the same on some store, Superstore, Safeway, wherever almost, buy it. but you can't buy cocaine. Cocaine was legal. It was in Coca-Cola. But, the, Coca but these Colombians, man, they're, they're, they're bringing in cocaine inside of coffee beans, man. Yeah, they're fucking ridiculous. That's crazy. What that that, that would make a. Dope. I would that, never import dope, but I sure as fuck wouldn't do that, man. That would make a pretty good cup of coffee, though, eh? Don't you think? Mm, probably. <laughs> what, what are we gonna try it or something? I don't want to do that. <laughs> no. That's hey, not... we're like drinking it. We're like this. Our eyes are just bulging under our skulls. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. I'm not doing that. <laughs> So yeah, uh, speaking of coffee, you hear about that guy, Tim Hortons, who uh, wouldn't wear a mask and he got escorted by the police? I don't know why people aren't wearing their masks at all. Yeah, I should be one to talk. I, I wear my mask like in an Uber car. That's about it. Oh, at work. At work in the hoist. Does it, you know, it doesn't really connect. It doesn't what? If we can do an experiment, I'd show you. I don't think it does much. It doesn't do anything? Well, I'll take a spray bottle of plain water that's brand new that I'll buy it and I'll spray it in the air at you and you'll see the part of the your face. Like, you can actually see, like, what goes in the air and it's still, like, even if you're wearing a face shield, stuff will get through. If there's wind and stuff or someone sneezes, it can go under the face shield up. Yeah, yeah, the face shield kind of like confuses me. I don't know why people wear face shields. The mask is so much, so much easier to wear. It's cool that he gave it, but I'm not Yeah. It's a good thing he gave it to me for the crowds for the protest, but I never wore it. Yeah. You want it? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to go to a no-mask protest, but, I mean, I just, uh, I, th I think it, I think the masks, like, it says on the back of, uh, the, the rectangular masks that they're not adequate protection against COVID. Like, it says that on oh, the box. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it says that on the box, so, I mean, like. Not. I could spit in your face. I wouldn't do that ever to you, or anything, but I would spit at you, and you'll see what I mean. That's what I was meaning by the spray ball. I don't want to stop it. Would take when I say the wrong way. But if I go like this, and hawk a loogie, you'll see it in the sun. Those particles get breathed out of your mouth. I talk loud. I know people that are louder than me. There's a kind guy. I know. It's always like this. And he's like, hey, oh, when he talks, and you can see him spit come out of his mouth. So people don't realize what they're doing, and he doesn't realize. He doesn't do that now because of COVID, but was doing that and people do and they just talk and girls yell and kids yell and it spreads in the air and it's circulating wind gusts little gusts bring it up totally it goes like 12 feet and it 
and so do the news that stays with the air for hours. We got a pretty good in BC though. I mean, our, our count's pretty low. And like... Well, they haven't been testing as much. Yeah. I saw... Could I, I saw a post that there's something like 200 cases in Vietnam or something. But, I mean, how much tests are they doing in Vietnam? Not enough. I also don't want to get tested because I don't want to hear people to have it. Yeah. Like, I don't like people when they talk to me. Most merciful, most proximity. This girl I know, she would come right up to me and talk to me. I'm like, you back up. People do that. And I don't want to go into it. I get tested and have it, have it given to me. I already don't want to hear me, but. You don't like yeah. people all up in your grill? Do you? No, not really. Especially spitty talkers. Or, yeah, spitty talkers. Yeah, they're spitty. Spitty talkers, I don't like that. Spitty. <laughs> spitty. <laughs> but, yeah, we, we got a good in Canada for, like, like everything, man. Like, uh... The country's a joke, bro. I don't mean it to put the country down. I don't mean it badly. I mean, this country's, like, it's like living in Wonderland, thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, my friend came here from Africa, uh, Africa and he said, it's a joke here. He's like, he's like, my country, is, it sucks there. He's like, I come here, and I feel like I'm in heaven. So do my, all my friends all around the world. They're like, you guys, you white guys that are born here, that have never actually stepped foot on Iraqi or uh, Iranian soil or anywhere outside of Canada, don't realize how lucky you have it. Because my country, he's like, he's like, you guys are a marshmallow. My one friend, he's Iranian, said that. You guys are like, marshmallows here and I don't, he didn't mean he's like I don't mean to offend you these guys are the west coast they can talk and all this nonsense but my country we actually are big tough. we have to worry about so much he's like this country is so much better for stuff like that mm. well we don't have to worry about the stuff going off bombs and stuff yeah I remember I was at a party and these these two people were talking about going back to Africa going back to like what? I don't even think they were African. I mean, they they were dark skinned, but they were talking about going back to Africa, where like it already did happen. There was a terrorist that bombed a subway down in Bramble. When was that? About two thousand six or seven. Shit. I worked there and I went nuts. <laughs> you know the news? I laughed. It wasn't funny. No one got hurt. I don't know if I remember correctly, but I just laughed at that. And I was just thinking to myself, yes shaking my head like wow yeah something like that in Vancouver is like uncalled unheard oh, of come on you know how to do that no not at all there was always there's always like subway London like subway bombings bombings all over Europe I was driving to work at Christmas time boss and I were driving, listening, having smoked coffee and talking and saying, these people don't have any education. Like, you think any normal person with a brain would ever do that? He was right. He's like, I'm not trying to put down their culture or anything. He's just saying, those people that did that are stupid. And he's right. Like, you don't do that. Yeah. So, uh, I got one more topic. Uh, Is it? Two weeks ago, Mr. Chai Pig passed away. Um, yeah, yeah, I wasn't like a huge friend of his or anything. Um, he bought me drinks a couple times. But he, he meant a lot to a lot of people. And he was a pretty talented guy, both with his art and with his music. Uh, so I thought we'd give him a little bit of a shout out. And how uh, there's a petition right now to replace Gassy Jack with the statue of Chai Pig. Um, I think that'd be progress. I think that'd be pretty good. Yeah. Um, so if you see it floating around, sign it. I, I did. I shared it. I listened, though. I like that guy. I met him twice. He was a nice guy. I didn't know he was so humble. I was like, I don't know. I was shocked. I didn't, I didn't even know, like, really who he was until after he passed away. No one ever told me, really. Like, I just, when then I seen all the stuff all over Facebook, and I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. 
I seen a couple pieces downtown. I was gonna film them. Up 340 has a mural. The memorial mural I had. There was one down on Hastings. Film that. I didn't even realize. I was I wasn't thinking. I was just trying to film them. There's someone spray painting it. That's a cool piece. And I and I was like, oh, that's messing up you. How do you how do you say that? Is that's is that bad? You can say snafu, I guess. That's what they used to call it in the military days. That 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 uh, that phrase comes from the military. Like situation normal, all fucked up. Situation went to a snafu. Yeah. He was funny. I like how he's jumping up in there and the stage. Yeah. He's a jumper. <laughs> He's a jumper. Well, it's sad that he's passed away because I like the guy. I did kind of say something about him and his sexuality. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got bullied a lot because he was gay. Fuck them. I don't like, listen, I don't want people to take what I say the wrong way. I don't like gay people. I don't hate them. I don't like them. It's, I'm not, I don't care. And I would never have made fun of the guy, ever. I don't care, man. He never even, I never even would have known. But you're a fucking harsh piece of shit to make fun of someone because of your sexuality. Same. I like the guy for who he was. I didn't even know. And I, I just, I've had people go out of their way that were different, different, se- different sexual orientations, and they made fun, or they, they did things that made, made me uncomfortable. Like I don't know where they kept inviting over for uh, drinks. My friend in his hot tub, and I'm like, fuck off. But snap, uh, Chai Pig never did that to anyone, as far as I know. Me, anyways. So people should just keep their bullshit to themselves. Even myself, sometimes I say. I shouldn't say it. But you don't make fun of people, man. I don't think that's right, do you? Yeah. Especially for something they have no control over. Sorry? Especially for something they have no control over. Well, yeah. So, my friend said there are people that are gay or whatever, like lesbian or bi or whatever, born that way. Mm hmm. I don't know. I don't really care. It's not, it's, it's not any of my business to ever make fun of something. Whatever. I don't care anyways, man. That's about that, don't you think? Yeah. Their choice. They can do whatever the hell they want. Yeah, it's a free country. It's Canada. Whoa. What did you think about that guy? Uh, he was nice. He was funny. I told him I didn't like his music, and he laughed. He thought, he thought that was good. I didn't like it either. I didn't listen to it much, but I listened to it after he died. Yeah. Very fast, right? But it doesn't matter. The guy still, I, I have respect for the guy because when I met him, it seemed, he was like, what's up? Maybe bomb, you know, this bomb, not a bomb, but like, you know, had a cocaine, like coffee bomb. That was nuts. <laughs> it's just like that. He's like, bump me, what's up? He's like, yeah, Mark told me it's cool, or like, whatever, I'm with it. I don't care. Like, I, I, I actually wish he was still around. Yeah, me too. Uh, uh, he used to frequent Pub 340 all the time, which is like my favorite bar downtown. Yeah, they and they got a mural there for want to go get that film to like yeah. Or yeah, I guess 340's open again. It might close up again. You never know. I wouldn't want to go there right now. Yeah. Well, that's one of the it's bars I hope survives for sure because it's my favorite one. I used to go there lots and play pool and darts. Pool and darts? Yeah. Did they have pool there? They are not pool, sorry, darts and uh, pinball. And, uh, pinball, sorry. I was just think I was thinking about something else I had to do and I got distracted. Not pool, darts and uh, about the pinball. Yeah, man. Well, anyways, we should wrap it up. Yeah, man. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in. We'll have more videos. Love you all. Live long and prosper. Peace out, guys. Hey, I was just screwing around, but <laughs> you see it? Yeah. It's funny. That's funny. You ever do that with flashlights when you're a kid? Flashlights? Yeah, like the animal shape to the ceiling. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> cool man. <laughs> Looks like the double horns. Yeah. I was just screwing around. <laughs> well thank you. Yeah, see, guys. See you next time.